Surround him! All right, Shalom, call Halal Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweshai, Bahasham Raka Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace salutations unto the hopeful elect. Once again, I am the brother Yahweh and basically, um, tonight's topic is based off of, of uh, a biblical scripture. And verse, all right. I believe in the, that's in Joshua, the twenty-third chapter, and the and the tenth and the tenth verse, all right. And one of you shall withstand the thousand, all right. Now let's just look. Let's just go straight up to the scripture real quick in the book of Joshua. And then I, and then i and then Lord willing, I'll explain the inspiration behind it. All right. So let's let's start with the scripture first. And this is Joshua. I'm looking for the twenty third chapter, and I'm going to read off the tenth verse. All right. Joshua 23 and 10. One man of you shall chase a thousand. For the Lord your power, e he it is that fighteth for you, as he hath promised you. All right? So one man 
one man, one Hebrew Israelite man in these last days, once he's given that spiritual power, Lord willing, will be able to, to fight and chase a thousand men, a, a thousand paratroopers, so you can understand, or stormtroopers, super soldiers, what, 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 in whatever form or fashion that the enemy may want to come against us. All right? The scripture also say the Lord shall lift up a standard in that day. All right? When the enemy shall come in as a flood, all right? Okay? The, 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 the Spirit of the Most High shall raise up, lift up a standard against him. All right? So, you know, the, the, the so called white man thinks he, he's going to have every single colored man of, of this nation, and especially of, of the elect, all cornered up. All right, for 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 his for his uh, ill doing. All right, but it it ain't gonna it ain't gonna go all that way for him. It, it's not gonna it ain't gonna work all that way for him, man. Okay, he he won't be able to to have it all his way in that day, because the Lord will raise up that standard. He will fight alongside uh, his elect in that day. He will give. Uh, his elect man's spiritual powers, all right? Because we're going to need divine intervention with all, all this hell, all this evil that's coming, all right? Courtesy of our enemies upon this planet Earth, man. All right? Now, the inspiration, the inspiration for for me coming up with this this topic with this subject, all right, uh, basically came out of me watching so a couple of old Bruce Lee movies uh, during the past week, all right. There goes the man right there, all right, the, the legend, as he became known for, all right. So I was watching a couple of Bruce Lee movies, and one of them I had just seen last night. And that one, that one is called Fist of Fury. And there's this scene, and, and, and I believe I showed that, uh, at, at, I, I believe I showed that, that, that clip before the beginning of this show, how, how Bruce Lee was, was cornered up by basically the whole classroom all right, at, at, at the Japanese uh, martial arts school. And, and he just was able to work his way for every last one of them fuckers, man. All right? Because, uh, you know, my man had that, he had that, he had them skills. He had that agility. All right? That, that, that was his lot on this planet Earth to somewhat possess this this uh this nearly divine superhuman strength that 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 the man really really displayed and he knew that he he was aware of that okay and 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 whether some people that, that dislike the man or not or whether some people portray him a certain way in other movies like like what was uh like the little controversy uh, that Quentin Tarantino caused with his little Once Upon a Time Hollywood movie, all right? Some, including the man's very daughter, uh, Shannon Lee complained that, you know, that, that Bruce Lee was, uh, was portrayed as a somewhat arrogant man and blah, blah, blah. Look, look, what, what, look, what, what, whatever, man. None of that should really matter, okay? What should matter, okay, is, is, the, is the legacy he left behind, all right? And, 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 and those superhuman abilities that he was able to magnificently portray on screen, all right? 
he was able to 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 it didn't matter if if he boasted of those abilities or not all right at the end of the day he knew he had that he knew he had something that far excelled uh, uh other uh, other human beings around them uh, uh, other 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 regular men so you can understand it's like he kind of knew that already you understand what i'm saying all right but at least but in these last days to come all right when the most high raises his men up of the 144,000 and they're going to receive that 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 spiritual power man they're going to do a lot more them in all these movies you've seen all right they're, they're going to have a, a lot more you know no no disrespect to bruce lee on all, on all that all right not not you know what i'm saying he he, he himself knows I, I i'm not trying to i'm not trying to diss the man or nothing but it's a fact all right when 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 the elect get that spiritual power in that day, it's a wrap. And so I thought I'd make a little mention of the man and, and some of his movies as an example. All right, that when his when when the Lord's true men get raised up in that day, all right, they're they're, they're going to have a lot more than than just superhuman strength. All right. Mr. Bruce Lee, while he was on the planet Earth, he nearly displayed them spiritual powers to some extent. All right, he he was he was even able to to uh, to nearly fly in some of his movies, some of them leaps he took and all that. You understand what I'm saying? All right, but when the elect get raised up. They're actually going to be able to fly, all right, l l l l you know, l l leap around skyscrapers, all right, but punch their way through walls, walk through walls, whatever, man, all right. Uh, they're going to become really indestructible in that day. So I thought I'd bring this up, uh, Lord willing, as an edifying lesson, all right. So once again, going to Joshua, all right, the, the scripture that I started with, Joshua 23 and 10, one man of you shall chase a thousand for the most high your power. He it is that fighteth for you as he hath promised you. All right. Okay. So, so from there, all right. From there, let's move on to Zechariah now. All right. Zechariah 12 and 8. Let's see if maybe I could find that here real quick. Zechariah. All right. All right. Okay, let's see if I could find the verse I'm looking for. All right. Okay, I believe I found it. This is Zechariah 12 and 8. And that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them in that day shall be as David. And the house of David shall be as, as, as the power, as the angel of the Lord before them. All right, now, I brought this scripture up, all right? He that is feeble among them at that day shall be as, da as David. What does it mean by being feeble? All right? For edification's sake, 
Let's just look that up real quick. Let me click on Strom's. All right. Some of you may already know what that word feeble is, but I'm going to look it up real quick for edification's sake. All right. All right. All right. Now here, 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 here are some of the meanings of the word feeble. Number one is fall. All right. A person who falls, as an example, so suffers an accident. All right. Let's say you, 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 you break a bone. All right, or pop a tendon, you injure your arm or, 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 or your knee pretty bad. You understand what I'm saying? You, you, you either end up permanently disabled or, 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 or must endure months of physical therapy and treatment in order to recover. That's being feeble after taking a fall. All right, that's being in a feeble uh, condition, man. Okay, and, and 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 let's bring up, let's bring up Christopher Reeve, as a, as a good example. All right, Christopher Reeve, all right, the the the, the white guy that that famously uh, became known as Superman, right? The 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 the, the, the first the the the, the first um, the, the the first white guy to play Superman. On, on, on the big screen and in the time I was growing up all right now 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 what did he suffer that did not he have a fall right he fell off a horse right and 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 he remained in a wheelchair the rest of his life all right so so that's basically being in a feeble condition a feeble state of being. All right, so so he became known as Quadra, however however you're trying to pronounce it, quad, quadriplegic, the rest of his life stuck in a wheelchair. All right, and he and he died like that, man. You understand what I'm saying? So so that 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 that's a perfect example right there. A stumble, cast down, overthrown, ruin. All right, decayed, faileth, weak. Those are some of the other meanings of the word feeble. All right, so in that day, going back to the scripture, all right, Zechariah 12 and 8, and that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All right, the, the Lord is not going to just sit there and let all hell break loose on all of, 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 of his people like that. All right? He may let a thousand fall on one side, all right? But then the other thousand that might represent the good the good side that's not that ain't part of the damn two-thirds club, all right, and have been doing their best to try and serve him faithfully and all that, the, the Lord. The Lord will, will be on their side in that day. Plain and simple. All right? The Lord shall defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. All right? And he that is feeble, all right? He that is feeble among them, meaning a person that's fallen and, 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 has, and has ended up uh, either permanent, permanently crippled or disabled, all right, we'll, we'll also be able to get, Lord willing, that spiritual power, be put in a new body, so you can understand. And the same thing goes for any any other so-called disabled person that might be blind, that might be deaf, that can't hear. All right, or 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 or, or, or must rely on a damn cane or walker to get around. 
That that all right? That's what being feeble is, man. All right. So in that day, when the Lord lift up that standard, all right, even those who are considered, you know, nothing but disabled, but broken down pieces of shit, you know how cruel this, this society can be, right? Well, guess what? The Lord is going to raise up even them kind of people in that day. Those that believe in him, so you can understand. He will raise them up and give them powers as well, so you can understand. Plain and simple, man. All right? Plain and simple. What? How, how more plain do you want it? You understand what I'm saying? How more plain do you want it, man? All right? For those of you that might be watching it and, 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 and you're really sincere and into this thing, you're sincere about this truth, right? All right? And, and you believe in the Most High, then you ain't got nothing to worry about then. All right? All right. So let's go to Isaiah now. All right? Isaiah 59 and 19. Uh, all right? One of my favorite scriptures. All right? Isaiah 59 and 19. Let's go over it real quick. All right. All right. So this is the book of Isaiah 59 and 19, all right? And it says this. So shall they fear the name of the Most High from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, when the enemy, well, what, what, what enemy is that talking about? It's talking about the so-called white man and his military might, all right? And he's going to use his military might against all of us in that day, against every single one of you that's a person of color, all right? Like it or not, believe it or not, that day is coming. The so-called white man Esau will use his military might against all of us, man. He's going to use his military might against against you, you so-called people of color out there, man. All right? Just like he did with, 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 with Panama. For those of you who, who, who might be familiar with, with the Panama deception, all right? Uh, a, a, an, old, an old documentary from 1989 that might still be uh, floating on YouTube somewhere. Look it up, man. The, the, the white man back then, uh, um, under, under so-called President George H. W. Bush, all right, what, what, might did he, what might did he use against the people, the citizens of Panama? He used his military might, man, okay? And, and he used that military might to an extent where, where he even experimented with damn lasers that he was shooting down on the people, man. <coughs> so lock you. All right. So lock you about that. All right. Go go go! Check that documentary out if you, if you find it. <coughs> All right. <coughs> yeah. All right. So you know they 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 experimented. <coughs> they experimented with 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 with, with some new technology. They experimented with some new weaponry back then, man. 
all right? And this was 1989. You don't think that any of that weaponry has become <coughs> even more advanced by now and shit? Yeah, so lucky. I, I got these demons here making me cough again. <coughs> For those of you that have patience dealing with me, then you know how it is. <clears throat> they don't want me to do these shows. That that's what that's really all about. But you got to do them one way or the other, even if they don't want you to, man. All right? Even if they try to prevent you to. So that's the whole bottom line here. All right? When the enemy shall come in like a flood, <clears throat> the Spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that's that spiritual power, that, that divine intervention that many of us are going to need in that time of trouble, man. Plain and simple. All right? Let's go to Isaiah 40 now real quick. All right, and this may not be that long. Uh, <clears throat> I'll go to Isaiah 40, read a few verses off of that, and, and maybe end it with Isaiah 54. All right. Let me see if I got this really right here. If it's Isaiah 40 or 41, it is really 41. All right. So lucky about that. All right, I found it. All right. All right, just bear with me a moment. All right, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna begin reading from verse eight. All right, Isaiah forty-one and eight. But thou Israel, Yasha Allah, are my servant, Yaqua, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham my friend. Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee, incensed, and that, that, that's another word for, that's another word for, um, incensed, that, 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 that's another word for disdain for disdain, for contempt, for pure hatred that, that the enemy has for our people, man. All right? So all these paramilitary troopers that are getting set up, they're going to come with that hatred, man. They're going to come with, I, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about you, nor your family, nor, nor your wife, nor your kids kind of attitude. 
You understand what I'm saying? They, they ain't gonna, they, they're not going to spare none. This is why there must be divine intervention to come, man. This is why we're going to need, we're going to need help coming from above. We're going to need the help of Yahweh, Bahashan, Yahweh Shai, man. He's the only one that, that would be able to lift that standard that day and help us, Lord willing, overcome our enemies. All right? So once again, Isaiah 41 and 11. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. So how you like them apples? All right. Verse 12. Then shall thou seek and, and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee they that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, thy power will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make thee a new sharp threshing instrument having teeth. Thou shalt thresh the mountains and shalt beat them small. Now when it's talking about when it's talking about thresh the mountains, that's not talking about physical mountains. All right? Though we might 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 truly be able to have such power, the mountains that is speaking about here is the people, the nations of this no good, unfair, cruel, and wicked world, man. This wicked world of the so-called white man, Esau, all right? It's talking about them kind of mountains, the governments of this world, the governments that Esau has set up. These are the type of mountains that will be freshed out and cast down in these last days, man. All right? Thou shalt fresh the mountains, meaning the governments of this world, and beat them small, and shall make the hills as shaft. Once again, the hills, that's talking about the people, the governments and people of this world, that they, 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 they will meet their fate in that time. They will come on, under total subjection under Yahawashai and, and his and his soon to be established kingdom, government, righteous government on this planet Earth. All right. Thou shalt fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. All right? When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the Lord, power of Israel, will not forsake them. So there you go. Those of us that believe, we must keep believing. There is a higher power. There is a higher entity. There is a spiritual world. There is a fourth dimension. All right? And, and they, they show you this every single day of YouTube. You have more and more new videos coming out on the so-called UFOs. All right? Or, or, the, or the chariots of, of Israel, Yasha Allah, or UAPs, whatever they want to call them. All right, these are these vehicles are showing off more than ever now, man. They're showing off their 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 much more advanced technology, and even Esau knows it, man. All right, even 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 the top scientists 
of this so-called white man already know. All right, that that the technology that 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 the heavens possess is a lot greater and more advanced than theirs, man. All right. So so Lord willing, we 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 got a lot of backing up in these last days. We 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 got a lot. You know, we we should not really be afraid of nothing, man. Because we got help coming from above, the higher power, so you can understand. He's going to stand and fight for us, all right? No matter how bad it may get out here, all right? Plain and simple, man. Now, let me go to Isaiah 40 real quick, all right? Let's just go back to Isaiah 40 real quick and, and read a couple of verses off of that. All right. That 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 I also think it's 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 crucial and important to bring up in this here subject tonight. All right. Just bear with me a moment. All right, so I'm scrolling down. All right. Yeah, this is the verse I was looking for right here. Isaiah 40 and 28. Hast thou not known, hast thou not heard that the everlasting power, the Lord, the creator of the earth, fainteth not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. All right. So basically, the higher power, the higher power known as the Most High, all right, that many of us do our best to try and serve, all right, uh, he is not called the Most High for nothing. He is truly an, an everlasting celestial being. He does not need to rest nor, nor fall asleep. Like, like, like many of us in, in this carnal flesh need to, there's no need for him to do any of that. And, and, and the angels that minister him are the exact same way, man. All right? So their eyes, there is no weariness to them keeping their eyes day in, day in and day out. All right? That, 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 that's why... That's why he's called the supreme being, the almighty man. All right? Okay? And, 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 and he's willing to share. He's willing to give some of that power unto some of his men in these last days, man. Now check this out real quick. Isaiah 40 and 29. He giveth power to the faith and to them that have no might, he increases strength. All right? So right now, men like me are faint. We have no might on this planet Earth. But it says here, He giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, He increases strength. All right? So the Most High is getting ready to make super badass warriors out of His chosen men. In these last days, man. Lord willing, I hope I get to be part of that number. Verse, verse 30. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Most High shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. All right, 
They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Now, now that does not necessarily mean, all right, that, that we're going to grow a physical uh, wings uh, off our back. It's going to mean that we're going to be able to fly. Fly! So you can understand, all right? Fly high and high and above, man. Go go up way 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 above the clouds. Soar uh, above skyscrapers. You best better believe that's what's coming. All right. They 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 have not made all these uh, so-called superhero movies for nothing, man. Okay. But that that's why they they they. That's why they they made the, the 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 kind of millions of dollars that they have earned at the damn box office, man. Because people really want to be like that. They want to be like 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 Superman and Superwoman. All right, but in this case, only an elect few of the Lord's people will have the privilege to to obtain those powers in that day. All right, plain and simple, man. Okay, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. All right, they shall run and not be weary. A good example of that: the Flash. All right, remember that Flash movie that came out earlier this year? That wasn't exactly uh, a, 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 a box office champion, all right? But it still serves as an example of the kind of powers that we're going to get, Lord willing. All right, now, Isaiah 54 now, all right? Isaiah 54, and I might end it with that. All right. All right. So I'm going, I'm getting ready to read Isaiah 54 and 17, all right? And it reads this. It reads, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. No weapon. Now, now what, 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 why, why is it saying that? What, what does it mean? By the prophet saying that, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. Meaning that, that, that once the Lord establishes his men with that spiritual power to become like Superman, like, like Wolverine, the X-Men, the Incredible Hulk, all right? No weapon, no weapon of this man's military shall prosper. Whether it's the laser beams, whether it's uh, his more advanced weaponry, all right, whatever. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, shall, thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness as is of me. Saith the Lord, saith the Most High, man. All right. Okay. Now, hold on a second. I said that maybe I will end it with Isaiah 54, right? Hold on a minute. Let me just type this here real quick. I'll, I'll end it with that. Lord willing, I'm, I'm, I'm a more encouraging and positive uh, uh no. Nope. 
Okay, I'm looking for that scripture and, and uh, the words of the Apostle Paul, a second Corinthians, I think, where it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. All right, we, 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 sh we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump. All right, let's see if I could find that. Read this out real quick. All right. Lord willing, Kwang Yashal, here we go. All right. Call Allah Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakadash. All right. So that's, so that's um, 1 Corinthians 15 and, and 51. All right. Okay, all right. Let, 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 let me let me just start reading from down here. First Corinthians fifteen and fifty one. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not sleep, but we shall all be changed. Going up to verse fifty two, and a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. All right, changed what? And, and, and acquire and inherit those, select, those, super, those supernatural extraterrestrial bodies, man. All right, have them super celestial shining bodies that the Most High already has prepared for His elect, in these last days, man, you best believe that's what's coming. All right? You best believe that's what's coming. All right? The spiritual power, all right? And I thought I'd I, I, I bring uh, uh, Mr. Bruce Lee as a short example at the beginning of this show, all right, that while he lived on earth, all right, the Most High gave him that 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 gave him that somewhat superhuman ability already. He had like, like a low level spiritual power and he was able to, to manifest that on film. And he did so magnificently. Now what's, what's getting ready to happen in real life will really surpass all of that and be even greater so you can understand. All right. All right now. 